Hello once again everyone, I'm Success Cyrus. Ghost of Cool is here with me. That's Agamel, the Bounty Hunter. So, of course, this is our Star Wars The Old Republic Let's Play of the Bounty Hunter. Welcome back. Marco wants to talk to us. About the whole Great Hunt thing. Thanks. It'd be a lot of great and stuff with it. Figure I ought to at least finish this for the old man. Thanks. I already said that, didn't I? Great Hunt was Brayden's dream. Talked about it for years. The day he told me he found you. Should have seen him. Grinning and laughing so much, my blood's face was split now. It's not every day you get a shot at the Great Hunt. Winning this thing, it would have meant more to him than revenge. So I'm gonna skip saying thank you again because we get the idea already. But let's just get to it. And random experience. So while we're here, there's one other thing random that I have to show you before we get to drum and cause. As you make a whole bunch of noise falling down the stairs. Yes. What's this all about? We're gonna get our advanced job. This launch has been rather insistent that his investment is prepared to win the Great Hunt. I've arranged for you to meet two of my peers, specialists in their fields. They should give you a taste of how real hunters customize that kit to suit their individual battle styles. I don't need your friends to tell me how to handle my equipment. Mastering combat takes practice and focus. Spread yourself too thin, and you excel at nothing. Zekag is expecting you. I skipped part of that conversation accidentally. I apologize. I just didn't like the response I made. Alright. It's gonna be another interesting little thing here. Sacking. He was waiting for us. So we're talking to him now. You must be the one the rally master called about. Nice blaster. It's a start. So what do you do with your free hand? Fix your hair? Strike a pose? Or is your hand so shaky you need two? I'm gonna go with option two. <laughs> Gonna take out the competition with glib remarks. Empty hands wasted potential. Better off holding another weapon. Great Hunt ain't scoring on neatness. It's kill or be killed. Better be ready to bring all you got when the time comes. I'll start practicing with my offhand. Good pair of blasters can handle just about anything. What they can't is high yield explosives. Ooh. Take what he says in moderation. He's a ferocious little son of a gun dark who heard the best defense was a good offense and ran with it. Take pride in your equipment, but don't forget its limits. Or yours. Why don't you show me what I need to improve? Hmm. Decent gear for running hot errands, but it won't get you far in the great hunt. Your armor should be a second skin, more comfortable than a warm bed. The really? Lady takes practice and endurance to move in. I'm not afraid of a little workout. Working a sweat's the easy part. It's the blood and tears you should worry about. <laughs> Time to appreciate solid defensive tactics and pain, which you'll have a lot of without them. Give us a good show. I mean, you want to fight? Show us. You're stuck on well. Look at that. How you feeling? Tired of bleeding yet? I'm gonna take a beating. I get it. Lesson learned. You're a natural with heavy ordnance. Head back to the rally master and get yourself loaded up to win the great hunt. Thanks for the lesson. My pleasure. I'll be rooting. Darn straight they'll be rooting for us. Let's go back over to the rally master, see what he is going to teach us now that we have decided. Of course, we already know it was decided at the beginning of this Let's Play where I was going to be. I'm pretty sure that's power tech, but uh, might be mercenary. I'm pretty sure it's mercenary. I don't know. Can you tell? It's the one that dual wields. Back in one piece, more or less. Most would have turned back or died before getting a pat on the back from Zachary or Gang. I thought we all got along well enough. The only thing Zach and again have ever agreed on is your chances of winning the Great Hunt. 
Interesting. You'll need to decide what sort of training will best suit your fighting style. Take a minute to look over your options. Mercenary it is. We have two skill points available. What's going on over here? Hmm. We could take the healing tree. I think that's what I'm going to go for. I, I would like to go for those heat seekers, but I don't know. I just, I got this feeling that I should go the healing route. Yeah, that's that's the first skill I'm gonna get. Is I'm going to change how vent works, give it 16 more points of cool when I use it because it can be very necessary. So we're gonna talk to him again or no? No, not at all. Hey, look, we got another blaster. Let's equip that. Yeah, now we've got two blasters equipped. And now I'm a healer, and my companion's a healer. That's a mess. And for now, we're just going to get to Droman Koss, and maybe, maybe get to the Mandalorian Enclave. Maybe. I can't promise you anything. I'm really looking forward to getting a ship, though. That's next on the agenda. Level 15, we will have ourselves a ship. While that's doing that, what what are you up to, Camp Studio? Camp Studio. Okay, we're good on time. We can actually do as I wanted to and get to Mandalorian Enclave in this part. We're gonna ignore that because it's a flashpoint. However, there's much. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, hiccups. There's the stems vendor here. I need to sell you got the my best junk. Hardware and the best prices. You also have an annoying Imperial voice. I know, what's up with that? I don't know, but I'm pretty rich. And that's all I'm worried about. You repair my gear and go away. Let me on this shuttle. Please! Here's where we go up here to the door and Droman Koss spaceport, here we come. Hey, a chicken when you get there. Yep. And now you guys have to suffer with the loading screen. It's not that bad this time. It's no, already it's a almost a third of the way loaded. Loading screen. Hurry up. Come on, we're just bragging that you were fast. Now you're going slow. Come on. I guess it's been a while since we've been to Drone and Cos. No, but room first. Going out. We tried to save you from some of these. We did. But a few will always get through, I suppose. At least it made a big jump there. That's pretty good. Mm. Alright, where's that customs terminal? Why do you not like them? Mako looks already going for different customs. No, it's usually called the customs terminal. But it's an arrivals console, I guess, on the dark side. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. We're just telling you that we've arrived. Now shut up. Spaceport's all small and same. Engine exhaust, coolant fluid, and space resources in AP. Let's get out of this sink. Whatever the rest of the cost is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. Still smells better than a hut. Hmm. It's like saying girls summer in a hut. Just a reminder, this is an imperial world, which means rules, rules, and more rules. 
If we take the local authorities, they can make life really hard. Anyone crosses me, dies. How did I know you were going to say that? It's my job. Our contact is someone named Chris Martin. Wait, did you just lose an affection point from her? Yeah. <laughs> she didn't like what you said. That's interesting. Most of the time, she really likes what you have to say, as long as you're a cocky, cool bounty hunter. You actually get to see some traveling going on here. Oh no. At least there's no annoying talking. I'm not going to enjoy my stay. Do you see how dark it is here? Yeah, Something we like forgot to see before we left Hutto was you you have this beautiful view of Narshada. I'm really sad that we didn't get to get that here in this let's play. We'll have to go back at some point. Communication effect. satellite, storms, thunderstorms even. Watch where you're going. Even though it's driving for you. No, I don't want to watch where I'm going. I want to look at that communications tower. That it won't let me look at. There exactly. it is. There it is. We Beautiful. It's perpetual night here, Frank. It's nothing but gloom, and it looks like it's night all the time. I just ignore everything and sleep all day. Day even early exists here. Who knows? More travel time. No, well, at least Marco's not complaining anymore. That's true. It could be worse, she could be complaining about everything. Okay, so we just need to get up to that platform. Which is right over here. I have it taken this way. Uh, I don't see any flags. That is the Citadel, though. That is definitely right where we're headed. And... Wow, look at how big these buildings are. They go off into mist down there. Looks like some of them are on the beach and some of them are on the mountain. And, ugh, that looks like some difficult stuff. Alright, this is the first time I've ever been able to come to the Mandalorian Enclave. Skills trainer? I wonder what you might have to teach us. Ooh, our first healing technique. 